Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for tuning into today's session, Engineering a Values-Driven Career in Technology. My name is Natasha Gupta. I'm an engineering architect here at Salesforce. Um, I'm based out of Colorado and I work on the app exchange and the partner ecosystem for our Salesforce customers. And my job is to make sure that we build a solid product at the same time innovating for, for the future. Well, did I say I have the best job? I do love my job. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm delighted to be here today and discuss how we align our values with our nine to five, you know, in our more authentic and meaningful way. But before we jump into the topic, let me first pass on the virtual mic to my co-speaker, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, Natasha. Um, and hello, everybody else from Brooklyn, New York. Um, yeah, as Natasha said, I'm basically here to you know talk to you guys about um, what it means to lead a value-driven career here at Salesforce. Uh, I am a lead software engineer, um, and I work on the platform cloud um, with the Salesforce CLI and various open source projects that we have here. Wow, look at us. We both are serving our developers and partners together. That's amazing. That's exciting. So uh, did you everybody know that Salesforce has been named Forbes most innovative companies nine years in a row? Well, trust me. And then it, we are also one of Fortune's 100 best companies to work for 12 years running. What makes us the number one world CRM company in the world? It is our core values. I firmly believe that. Um, to remind everyone, our core values are trust, customer success, innovation, equality, and sustainability. These core values inform our culture, but it also informs how we serve our customers and our communities. And as a very old Salesforce employee, I can tell you this much. Every day you come to work, these values, you feel those values in every meeting you go to, every interaction you have. And Today in this session, we're we're specifically going to focus on sustainability as our core value. Um, we're not only committed as a company into this core value, but also we enable other companies accelerating their journeys towards a net zero emission. Um, I'm so proud to be presenting the session with Rodrigo today for all of you. So let's get things off, but Let's help our audiences understand us a little better. Uh, Rodrigo, let me start with you. Would you talk a little bit about your career journey and what attracted you to the engineering field when you started? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I started working professionally as a software engineer in 2012. Um, and I worked at a very small startup back then. Um, really what interested me about software engineering was just like the ability to um like solve problems that that like nobody had ever solved before kind of right like the the, the technology age of today um like being a software engineer really allows you to to be on the forefront of like what we are doing as like a human race um and then eventually i i uh ended up joining Salesforce through an acquisition um, of Exact Target. Um, I started here seven and a half years ago, um, and I've worked on a bunch of different things since then, um, everything from front-end apps to uh, cloud-native infrastructure with like Kubernetes and stuff like that. Um, and as I said earlier, now I am working on open source software and the Salesforce CLI. Um, wow! But yeah, what I know you came. Experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been it's been great. Um, I know you came from Exact Target too, Natasha. But uh, I know. How did you How did you get started with engineering? Well, well, let me say for me, I, I engineering was like I come from a country where you believe doctors and engineers are the only people who can save the world, <laughs> which is so clearly wrong. But anyways, my mother didn't give me an option to start with. But once I joined engineering, my education is an engineering background. I have a master's in engineering as well. But once I started, I realized, wow, we can build something that can actually help the world, the customers. For me, that was my attraction towards engineering field. I mean, really. Um, and 
Yes, exact target. Look at us, Rodrigo. We all come from the same acquisitions. We both of us. And you know how I describe it, Rodrigo? I always say I didn't find Salesforce. Salesforce came looking for me. <laughs> That's how I describe it. So, but I, I'll be very honest. When Salesforce took over, I was like, yep, yeah, I'm out of here. I'm a startup girl. You know, I don't do this. And then I met the leadership of Salesforce. And, and, and uh, I mean, our president is like of engineering was he just sat down as an engineer and discussed with us how our system worked. And that was the day I realized these are engineers trying to build something amazing. You know, I want to be here. I want to work for this company. And that's yeah. my journey to Salesforce. And it's been 18 years now. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, was that was that Srini that you were talking about? What's that? Was that Srini that you were talking about? Yes, yes, yeah, Srini. Yeah, he's great. Person. He's so good. <laughs> yes. Srini, I give you the credit for me staying at Salesforce. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, so uh, I know you joy, attracted to engineering, but what kept you going towards engineering? Like what excites you most, like keeping here in Salesforce and doing this engineering work? Um, yeah, so I mean, like, like I said, I've had the opportunity to work in a bunch of different um, areas, like everything from front end to like, cloud native infrastructure. Um, and so it's really great that Salesforce gives you that um, like flexibility to, to try a bunch of different things. Um, and then the other reason um, that has, that I've stayed here at Salesforce really um, is because Salesforce really treats us as like people and as, um, you know, it, treat, it treats us work our work as like a product of like who we are, not just like as an employee that like we have to like do what we're told. Um, mm -hmm. and, and so along with that, um, you know, we have incredible like work-life balance. Um, all the people I've ever met here are incredibly kind and supportive. Um, yes. And I think really that's just a, a testament to like how Salesforce leads through its values, right? Um, sure. And one of the things that's like really on my mind recently um, and something I'm really proud about is how we have this new value of sustainability, right? Um, so that's incredibly important for me in my life um, and just having a company that has taken that on as a core um, value is, is really um, something I'm proud of and something that makes me want to continue helping Salesforce and, and working here. Wow, so wonderful to hear that. And you know, it's like, um, I mean, remind me if I'm not wrong, but sustainability was announced as a core company value just earlier this year. And you know what I like about that part is we not only are working towards being a sustainable company and, you know, making sure our carbon footprint is so less, but you're also accelerating other organizations, right? Like how, how cool is that? I mean, our, for our audiences, if you have heard about a net zero cloud 2.0, please take a look at it and read about it. We are making it available globally because guess what? To save our planet, our biggest stakeholder, our home, we just don't need Salesforce. We just don't need me and Rodrigo. We need everyone, whether it is our government, our officials, our ecopreneurs, our you know, policymakers, scientists, everybody has to come together to make this happen. And you know, I'm so proud that when I go to work, where I spend most of my day at, I can, you know, uh, I, I can carve out a career for myself with a company that also believes in the same values and drives to make this world um, a better place. Um, I have two little kids. And when you see everything going around you, whether it is the wildfires, the water shortages, the melting ice caps on our polars, and I mean, I don't know, I really want to leave a better planet for our kids. So I'm really so excited to, you know, have been this be a part of our core values at Salesforce. So I mean, Rodrigo, thank you for sharing that. And it really, you know, speaks to me that sustainability is such an uh, important personal value for you and um, for me as well. Um, can you talk a little bit more on how you incorporate sustainability into your more everyday life, you know, whether it's your personal life or your work? Talk to me a little bit more about that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so personally, uh, I try to just like minimize my environmental impact as much as possible. So I've signed up for things like um, uh renewable energy so like my house is powered by renewable energy 
Um, the My bank automatically offsets all of the gas that I buy with my credit card. Um, I, uh, so I, I do a bunch of stuff like that, you know, and, and I'm always making sure that all of the products and services that I, that I interact with or that I buy from companies um, are as environmentally friendly as possible, right? Um, and so this is super important to me because as you said, it's, it's not going to be like us individually making choices to like make things greener that really like has a really big impact on climate change. Um, it, it's been kind of proven that individuals alone can't curb like the worst uh, disasters that might happen because of climate change. Um, and so it's really, really important to me that organizations like Salesforce uh, or the government or whatever, you know, are taking it upon themselves to make transformations that will allow individuals like us to make better choices when it comes to the products and services and companies that we interact with, right? Um, so not just like Salesforce doing that for themselves, but creating a product like Net Zero Cloud that allows other organizations to track their own environmental impact and to offer uh, better, more environmentally friendly services is super, super important to me. Um, and it's something I, you know, it's. It's something I, I love to to tell people that like you know this is why I work at Salesforce. I I want to be somewhere where my contributions are having a direct impact on the the world around us for better. <laughs> that is um, that is so well said. And you know, Rodrigo, I learned so much from you today around making more meaningful impact to the to our planet. Like I'm gonna call my bank. I'm like, why don't I have what Rodrigo has? Like I really want that. <laughs> Myself. So thank you for sharing that with me. You know, uh, I was, uh, you know, when I think of it, do you remember the time we used to go to office every day? Who remembers that time? Uh, mm -hmm. We, I still, I still remember our office manager, you know, and at Salesforce, we had these, we used to eat a lot of candy. Don't tell anybody, but we used to. And <laughs> uh, we made it a point, our office manager made it a point to even get like containers for us where we would recycle the wrappers. And I was like, Wow. I mean, look at that. I mean, you're empowering everyday life, like going into work, any small actions we take and how you can leave, you know, the least carbon footprint for the planet. I mean, isn't that so awesome? Uh, like, I don't have a bank who can do that for me, but at least, you know what I'm passionate about? Like, I do a lot of upcycling of fabrics. So can, I'm going to share a story, little story with you. I went to India recently um, to meet family. And we were driving across, you know, um, from one city to the other. And we came across this huge landfill, like, I don't know, 50, 100 feet high. And, you know, I looked up and all I saw over there was hanging clothes, like jeans, tights, and I don't know what all was hanging from there. Just perfectly fine. I just saw like a bright colored T-shirt, perfectly fine, just hanging there. I, it broke my heart so bad. I mean, this fast fashion and the way it has changed the world and our greed to be have the latest clothes all the time, new clothes. It just, I upcycle a lot of fabric. And it's like, it's my small way of contributing in my personal life, in addition to my work life towards this uh, effort of sustainability. Like, I just wanted to share that story. So yeah. I really- Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you know what? How would we talk? Like, if we, if somebody is trying to make a career or curious about making a career in technology around their core values, around their personal values, do you have any tips or any ideas, Rodrigo, that you would like to share with them? Yeah, um, I mean, the, the very first step is just kind of like defining what your values are, right? Like, um, Salesforce has done a really good job of that, obviously, because we have, you know like listed the specific things that we care about. Um, and so if you just start with that, um, after that, it's really just comes down to kind of like researching uh, your potential employers. Um, you generally want to look for a company who is very transparent about um, what they're doing and how they're doing it. Um, and then I would say if you find any companies that kind of like go the extra mile and uh, have public initiatives that aren't necessarily related to like their everyday business. Um, like an example is Salesforce has this initiative called a hundred million trees. Um, and obviously like Salesforce isn't in the tree business or forestry business. So 
-hmm. It's like why does Salesforce have this this initiative to plant a hundred million trees? And it's because it sounds corny, but it's because we care, right? It's like because it's it's uh, part of our values, and and so it's what we want to put out there in the world. Um, and so I would say that you know look at, look at that kind of stuff. Um, do a little research on on the companies you're interested uh, in working for, and see what what they're doing and how they're engaging with the communities around them. Um, so well yeah. said. And, and you know what, Rodrigo, thank you for reminding of our audiences to are the 100 million trees initiative that Salesforce has. And you know, like, if I have to say something here, it's like, when I started my career, all I wanted was a job. You know, like when you start your career, like, oh, give me a job. Like, I really yes. need to pay my bills. But over the years, years, I've realized I'm so passionate about engineering, like my job. Engineering is how you build a product what you build has become so much more important to me now but like what am i building like i remember sustainability cloud by the way one of salesforce initiatives is built on the technology powered by my own teams my i'm so proud of the product and it was powered by a framework i mean for me that those kind of things have become so much more relevant and important in this world because if we don't do it then who will right we talk about individual choices Probably if we all individuals come together, the world comes together, we can really make a difference here. So I 100% agree with you, Rodrigo, there, you know, choose what you're building, choose who you're working for, and choose, make wise choices every single day for our planet. Having yeah, yeah. said that, <laughs> having said that, we've already run out of time. Uh, I mean, it was so great chatting about Salesforce, sustainability, and how we are doing every day, right, our values. Um, thank you, Rodrigo, for joining me in this conversation. Yeah, um, no, thank you, Natasha. <laughs> yeah, I think we both agree that climate action is extremely important. I'm going to re-emphasize here to everyone listening. Uh, please, uh, you know, make good choices every single day. And we are so excited to be a part of this company who's leading the charge and accelerating the world's journey towards net zero. Um, and for those of you, if you would like to know more about us, our company, our values, if you agree with them, if you believe in them, please come listen to us, you know, join our talent community. Uh, you can hear more about our jobs, our events and everything. And you can also follow Salesforce Jobs on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and I think we are, uh, yes, Instagram as well. Thank yeah. you so much, Rodrigo, and thank you everyone else for joining us today. We hope to see you soon. With Thanks. that, so... Bye.